Hello children. Today we're going to read a very fun book. Let's turn on our brains, run run run, and our busy bee wings. Bzzz. And here with our magic bear from the classroom, we're going to jump into the magic of reading. One, two, and three. He's going to hold our magic wand while we read the book. This book is called Froggy Goes to Bed, written by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remkowicz. And it's very fun. You see, Froggy doesn't seem to want to go to bed. He's in bed, but he's reading a book and has his huggy. Over here, through the window, we can see an owl looking into his bedroom. So let's see what this fun book is about. Here we have the title page. And we have Froggy looking for something in his chest. And we have pajamas and clothes everywhere. You see at the on this window, through this window, we see the branch. But we don't see the owl like over here in the front cover. Let's see what happens. It was late. Froggy was too pooped to pop. He'd been playing hard at Max's all day long. Have you ever felt that way? Look, there's his soccer ball. Froggy, called his mother. What? It's time for bed. No, cried Froggy. I'm not tired. <laughs> Have you ever said that to your mom or your aunt or your parent who's trying to get you to bed? Why don't you take a nice bath, she said. We'll make it a bubble bath. Oh, how nice. Okay, said Froggy, but first I have to find my boat. Flop, 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 flop. There goes Froggy. He's going somewhere to find his boat. He looked in the fridge. Nope. He looked beneath the sink. Not here. He looked in the laundry bin. I found it. And he took a bath. Splash, splash, splash. You see, there's his boat. And he's taking a bath. Now it's time to put on your pajamas, said his mother. And she wrapped him all cozy warm in a towel. Okay, said Froggy, but first I have to find them. Flop, flop, flop. And there goes Froggy. He looked on his floor. Nope. He looked in his toy chest. Not here. He looked behind the desk. I found them. And he put them on. Swoop. Froggy, called his mother. What? It's time to brush said his mother. You see, she's holding the toothpaste and a towel. Okay, said Froggy, but first I have to find my toothbrush. Flop, 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 and there goes Froggy again, flopping away from his mother. Oh, Froggy. He looked in the fish bowl. Nope. He looked in the wastebasket. Not here. He looked in the cookie jar. I found it. And he brushed his gums. Brush, brush, brush. Why did he brush his gums and not his teeth? Well, do you know that frogs do not have teeth? That's interesting. Froggy, called his mother. What? I bet you want your huggy, said his mother. Yep, said Froggy. I have to find my huggy. Flop, flop, flop. Oh, here it is. It's under the stove. Bonk. He gave it a hug and climbed into bed. Now it's time to sleep, said his mother, and gave him a good night kiss. Okay, said Froggy. But first, I need a snack. 
then I'll go to sleep. And he hopped out of bed. Flop, flop, flop. There he goes again. Oh, froggy. Munch, munch, munch. Scrunch. He ate a bowl of flies. Then he crawled back into bed. Flies? Have you ever eaten flies? No, not me. But Froggy is a frog, and frogs eat flies. So there is his bowl of flies. Now go to sleep, Froggy, said his mother. She was getting a little tired herself. Okay, said Froggy, but I'm thirsty. And you have to close the closet and open my door just a crack and turn the night light down just how I like it. Then I'll go to sleep. So you see Froggy's mom? She's turning the night light down just like he likes it. Oh, fiddlesticks, said his mother and got him a glass of water. You see, Froggy is happy. He's getting his water. But the mom, look at her eyes and her mouth. She seems a little tired. Oops, said Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. It's spilled. You see, his face is red. His mom is all wet. And the glass of water spilled on the rug. Uh oh, Froggy. Have you ever done this like Froggy? When your mom brings you some water to drink in bed and you spill it. Oh, Froggy, said his mother. She wiped it up, then got him another glass of water. Glug, glug, glug. You see, his mother is wiping it up with a sponge. Closed the closet, slam, opened the door just a crack, creak. And turn down the light just right. Now go to sleep, she said. Okay, said Froggy. But first, will you read me a story? Of course, dear. She yawned. <gasps> oh, boy. And she read. And she read. And she read till the book dropped, thump, and she fell asleep, snoring like a horse. <laughs> you see, she dropped the book, and she's snoring like a horse. Has that ever happened to you? Good night, Mom, said Froggy. Then he closed his eyes and went to sleep. Good night, Froggy, said Mr. Owl, sitting on a branch. Hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. The end. I hope you liked this book as much as I did. <laughs>